Be 11 years old. Mom says cousins are coming over for the weekend. Fuck dot. I'm not saying that. that that's just JPG. One's my age and autistic, the other is two years younger. Fucking deaf and can't talk except for dumb deaf speak. Worst part is they hate each other and constantly fight. I know they're gonna hog my fucking N64. Anyway, they arrive. Autistic one is already going off about wanting waffles or some shit. Deafy's just staring at the floor. Weekend progresses, I'm sitting in my room playing Star Fox. Autismo breaks in and starts screaming about it being his turn. Deffy wanders in behind him. Da fuck dot JPG? Tell both of them to fuck off somewhere. He starts screaming for my mom. Mother forces me to give him a turn. Whatever. Hands him the controller. He sucks fuck. Gets destroyed on Corneria, like, what the fuck? Goes into tard rage and starts smashing the controller on the floor. Not fucking cool. I tell him to knock that shit off. He keeps dying, keeps smashing as well. Come up with a plan. Walk over to Deffy and take Hot Wheels out of his hands. Throw them at Autismo while simultaneously pushing Deffy into him. Autismo thinks <laughs> Deffy is attacking. They start fighting like wild animals. Autismo has Deffy pinned. Deffy bites down on Autismo's chest. Autismo starts screaming that he bit his nipple off. Mom bursts in and then breaks them up. Autismo's bleeding through his shirt and screaming at the top of his lungs. Mom calls my aunt. She has to take him to the hospital. Aunt shows up, apologizes, says they're obviously too much of a handful to leave with someone for the weekend. She asks who started it. Point at Deffy. He starts spazzing and yelling deaf speak. My face when deaf cousin can't explain that I started the whole thing. My face when autistic cousin has one less nipple and it's my fault. My face when I get to play Star Fox in peace for the rest of the weekend. Be working in a supermarket. Be cashier. See Tard and Wrangler inbound. Fuck dot AVI. Pretend to be cleaning. They come over anyways. I say hello to the Wrangler. He says hi back. Seems nice. Tard is focused on something in the carriage. Start processing order. Beep dee! Fucking what? Tard grabs butter. Beep dee! Tard begins to eat stick of butter. All of my what? Wrangler tries to get it away from the Tard. Beep dee me! Tard begins to scream. Sounds like gurgles. Tard starts punching groceries. Wrangler starts screaming. Beep dee! Tard has a seizure. Wrangler watches. Ambulance comes. I get to go home early with pay for the rest of my shift. Fucking bubbed her. Be bros with obese autistic Tard. Let's call him Eric. Eric is a true bro. I'd go to his filthy house every weekend and we'd do stupid shit together. Eric's autism was so severe that he was afraid of nothing and felt zero remorse for anyone else's pain. You could say he was a psychopath, but he was a happy one. Eric was frequently bullied for being overweight. I had the honor of being at his place when he decided he had enough. He calls up one of the kids who picked on him. He sounds happy as can be and invites him over to his place. Kid agrees and arrives after 15 minutes. Kid enters house. Eric immediately slams the door and proceeds to beat the living fuck out of the kid. I mean, beat the living fuck out of the kid. Kid can't even get up after getting thrashed so hard. Eric grabs him by the shirt and throws him out onto the lawn. Me and Eric go back to playing GameCube, laughing our asses off at that poor motherfucker. Eric gets into his 4,000th fight at school. He's almost never been disciplined because he's a fucking tard. School has enough after a particularly gruesome ass-kicking. He's sent to the office. I'm walking down the hallways, it was exam week of all times, when I see him walking out of the school. Eric is screaming, Fuck you, principal. You fucking piece of shit. 
Remember, it was during exam week. Classes were dead quiet when this happened. Principal pokes his head out of the office door as yells, I'm calling the police. Eric screams back, Fuck you, I can take out of him! I believe him. He walks past me, says in a perfectly normal voice, Hey, you doing? Hi, Eric. My face when all he got was a week of detention. Be chillin' with Eric. It's Saturday and the local church is giving away free hot dogs. Free hot dogs, you know? Free hot dogs! We have to go get some! Free hot dogs! Alright. We walk to the church. Get hot dogs. Church is full of people. Eric crams the entire hot dog in his mouth, and then he screams out, These are some goddamn good hot dogs! In a fucking church. People are staring. He screams, What are you faggots looking at? We both get kicked out. Walking to the background. Suddenly, Here's how you doing? Turn around. Down's kid with gigantic glasses and clothing that is five sizes too big is staring at me. His name is Tyler. Here you doing? How the fuck does he know my name? Tell Eric I'm going to fuck his shit up. All right, man. I'll keep him notified. You freaking did it! I tell Eric after school. Tyler walks out of school maybe ten minutes later and sees him. Hey, Eric, you fat fucking shit of a bitch! I'm gonna kick your ass! Clash of the tards. Eric and Tyler run straight at each other. Eric literally jumps right into him, knocking him on the ground. Eric gets on top of the downy and starts choking him. Tyler punches Eric in the nose. It's super effective. Tyler literally gets on Eric's back and starts riding him like a cowboy, screeching <laughs> in his thick Down Syndrome accent. Eric bucks and knocks the Downy off. Eric grabs him and throws him like three feet. Me and Eric cheese it. Me and Eric are such bros that I actually decided one day, fuck everything, and volunteered to be a teaching assistant for a TARD class at high school, which Eric happened to be in. The class is chaos. Chaos. A full class of about 30 kids, all of whom are severely handicapped. One weekend I had been at Eric's and he was ranting about a girl who had called him a lardass or something. I told him that she has a bucket vagina. Eric thinks this is the funniest shit ever. Ginger girl named Jacqueline, severely autistic. She would repeat literally anything you said over and over and was incapable of any other emotion other than stupid amounts of glee. One day in class, Eric tells her she has a bucket vagina. Me, Eric, and Jacqueline are in hysterics. Jacqueline starts screaming, Bucket vagina! Bucket vagina! I am a bucket vagina! Whole class is exploding in laughter, except for the teachers who are freaking out. They manage to shut her up for 45 minutes. After class, the first thing she squeals after leaving is, Yeah, you have a bucket vagina! She screams this while walking down the hallways. She does this for a week or so. School doesn't even bother trying to stop her. Tard class with Eric was always interesting. Eric frequently moused off to the teacher, who was a total bitch anyway would often tell her to fuck off and would not do work. One day, the class is doing some shit on Microsoft Word. Eric has no interest. Eric is illiterate as fuck, and I was always tasked with writing for him. Eric tells me to write, Miss Clark blows my balls. I look at him. He looks right back. He's serious. Write it. Miss Clark, tard room teacher if you had trouble catching on comes by looking at our masterpieces. Sees ours. Grunts disapprovingly. We grin like motherfuckers. We use word art to make Miss Clark blows my balls look more fancy. By the end of the class, we had perfected Miss Clark blows my balls to be a swirly 3D rainbow monstrosity. We hand that shit in. Never get it handed back. I get this feeling that she has it up on a plaque. One particularly obnoxious wrangler is harassing Eric. Eric fucking hates tard wranglers because they make him look like a tard. Eric is sitting in tard class, not paying a cent of attention to the teacher. 
Eric gets out his backpack, whips out his motherfucking gay boy advance, ready to catch them all. Nearby, Wrangler notices. No, Eric! You can't do that! This is class! You learn in class! No, Eric! You can't play Pokemon in class! Eric doesn't give a shit. Give me that Game Boy, Eric! Eric turns around, looks her dead in the eye. Hard for Eric to do because autism. Suck my big fat man titties! The entire universe stops for five seconds. Bitch! Class explodes into gleeful, retarded laughter. Kid starts chanting, Suck on his man titties! Class follows along. Wrangler's face is completely red. Miss Clark is freaking the fuck out. We chant for a good ten minutes, not a sign of boredom. Miss Clark screams out, Free time! All the tards immediately stop chanting and rush for the board games, the computers, etc. Feel like fucking shit up. As mentioned by someone else previously, tards make good for personal berserkers. Right, Eric is gay on his locker. Tell him it was some tard kid named Willie. Be sitting in tard class, Eric is sitting down. Willie walks in. He's about the same size of Eric, but all muscle. He lacks Eric's viking spirit, though. Eric is like, You wanna fucking go, Willie? Willie smartly responds with, Yeah, let's motherfucking do this! Willie and Eric are soon beating the fuck out of each other. There's a section of the corner full of stuffed animals and foam cubes and shit. Eric throws Willie into the corner and jumps on him. They then roll around, choking each other and punching one another. Eric starts beating Willie senseless with a foam cube. Super effective. I really should have done this more often. Be walking down the sidewalk with Eric, of course. Some guy biking down the same sidewalk. Eric decides he doesn't like him. He picks up a stick and throws it at the biker while he goes past. Somehow dead on accuracy. Biker flies off his bike, skids across the sidewalk. Cheese it. One day Eric calls me. Hey, you nun! Yeah? That's what that is! What? It's our five year anniversary! What are you talking about? He goes on to explain that he had marked down my first visit to his place. Yes, the time we had smashed the TV with a GC controller. This has happened three more times in similar fashion, by the way. And this was our fifth quote unquote anniversary. That's awesome, Eric. Come to my place and I'll have a party for you! I go to his place. Balloons, cake, chips, pop. We have a six hour GameCube marathon whilst celebrating. Eric had a tape deck with a cassette that had a bunch of old 90s pop music on it. He played at full volume the whole time. Obviously, his parents weren't home. Eric goes on to explain that he bought all the food and party supplies himself. I'm so fucking proud of you, Eric. Thank <laughs> you.